Hi, today we're going to extract DNA from strawberries and you can do this at home. It's so simple. We're going to start with some strawberries. We're just going to take the tops off them, cut them, stick them in a bag. And DNA, you can't see it normally, but if you get enough DNA, you can actually visualize it. Everybody has DNA. DNA is what makes you have red hair or black hair or blue eyes, brown eyes, tall or short. Every living thing has DNA. So we're going to have a glimpse at it. So we're just going to take a baggie, we're going to put in our strawberries, and we're going to put in something really scientific here. We're going to put in extraction buffer. But you can make this at home. It's quite simple. Extraction buffer is just a little bit of soap, some salt, and water. And voila, you have extraction buffer. And what's happening is, is that the soap is breaking down the cell membranes so that the DNA can come out of the nuclei. And the salt is important because that's what's going to make the DNA stick together. Because we want as much DNA as possible together so that we can actually visualize it. So what I'm doing is I'm just mushing it up. Careful, don't squirt it out the top. So you squish this up for about a minute or so until it's well squished. And I have a bag here that I've already squished. And what we're going to do now is take a, a funnel. Most kitchens have a funnel and something to put it in. I have cheesecloth, but if you don't have cheesecloth, you can just use paper towels. All we want to do now is to get rid of the, the cell membrane stuff that we don't want. We just want the DNA that's in the solution. So we pour it in, just like that. And then we let the juice flow out just like that. Kind of gooey at this point, but still it's just strawberries. Now we've got some solution down here. And then I'm going to take some isopropyl alcohol that's really cold. I've had it in the freezer. And I'm going to add a little bit, just gently. You're not going to go very hard, just gently going to add a little bit. And what happens is, is the DNA it doesn't want to be in the alcohol. So it's going to be in the layer between the, the juice that we had and the alcohol that we added. You can see that there's some gooey stuff in the middle in what they call the interface. And that is the DNA, this gooey stuff that we're pulling up. Just like that, that is DNA. There's enough DNA in one human body if we could stretch DNA out, if we could stretch DNA out from one person, you would have enough DNA to go to the sun and back 600 times. And that's in each person's body. That's how much DNA is in our body. And there you go. Try this at home.